All right, here we go. Week five matchup, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be Coach Joe and the Atlanta Talent Flames, yours truly. We're playing Dr. Thumping, Coach Dr. Thumping, the Wheeling Alakazams. Should be a good matchup, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, he's 3-0. and He's plus 11 in differential. I'm 2-1. and We just won our battle last week against Liam and the High Dragons. It was a close one last week. It's going to be an even tougher one this week, so... We're going to see what, what we're going to be enduring today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm expecting to see uh, probably, of, of the of the 11 he's got, I'm expecting uh, Alakazam, Cloyster, Tyranitar, Arcanine, um, Gastrodon, and Tentacool. I'm expecting those six, to be fully honest with you guys. So, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what we what we endure um as you guys saw on the team builder which i'll have a link in the icon and in the description below uh going with luxray going to teleon duraludon hip on top giving galarian line noon his debut and g max venusaur Sorry about that, guys. Um, having a little connectivity problems. So probably I'll have to once I learn how to do like Adobe Premiere and stuff like that. I'll be I'll be good to go on you know like kind of side because I mean I, I don't know if anybody likes all the time. I mean I'm I'm all right with it personally i mean it's it's all good every now and then i mean you know you like you like to see people you like to understand them understand them um you know normal you don't really want people at least me personally i get the whole concept of you know going by a script in a sense when it comes to like recording youtube videos recording podcasts radio shows i get it you want to stick to the script me personally i like going live i like being as normal as upbeat as possible um, I like giving my opponents a good battle. I like making sure that the content's good there for, uh, you guys, the viewers. So like, I'm not one of those people who is like, oh, here's a new video. So, you know, subscribe to me if you're new. Uh, my thing is if you want to subscribe, I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to say, you know, yes or anything like that. I'm just going to say, you know, that's your guys' prerogative. You guys felt the need to do it. So I'm going off of that aspect I don't believe in, uh, you know, just like saying like, you know, uh, this amount of my viewership is not subscribers. I frankly don't care that I'm new to YouTube. I, I don't really know the uh, ebbs and flows of the YouTube algorithm per se. I just know that, you know, you put out good content, people are going to respond to the content in due time. I mean, if you look at how uh, some of these guys with you know, like, thousands of subscribers they put out good content they edit those videos me i'm still learning how to do all this stuff so that explains why sometimes the videos the quality the audio it could be a little better uh once i learn how to do that it'll be so much easier this uh also as you can see my sense of scorch right there I thought I thought about bringing him today for the battle, but I didn't. I, I guess at least this time around, it just it didn't seem like like a good matchup, especially against his team. I mean, he could easily run Flash Fire, Arcanine, uh, the Tentacruel, Barbarical, Cloister, Tyranitar sets. They they go after him big time, especially Tyranitar and Barbarical. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that, but that's just me, like, I mean, you know, I want to get, I want to give good battles to you guys, that's all, that's all I really care about, I, I'm not really picky on what happens, I just want to make sure that the battles that are given are worthy of your guys' time and effort to, you know, watch the battles, so, if I even learn how to do timestamps, I'll even, like, you know, skip, skip through that, you know, put that in the description, so that way you guys don't have to listen to me babble, for you know minutes on end per se 
Um, Uh, let, let, let me let me try let me try let me try it again real quick. Ooh, 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 no, uh, dang. Three, two, six, nine. Three, two, six, nine. Ah, dang. All right, searching for him again. Might be a little difficult for him right now because you know, hot spots and all that stuff. Could be a little, a little challenging with that. Oh, there we go. We got him. Battle in Doctor Thumpin. GLHF to Doctor Thumpin, and we're gonna try to get him for a post-match uh, battle after work. You know, post-match breakdown and everything. All right, let's see what we're going to be enduring here today, folks. Bring out the flames. He's worthy of Chairman Rose's battle theme. He's worthy of it. <laughs> All right, I got three. No, actually, I, I did say four of the six. Or did I say five? I, I think I picked Gastrodon, too. So, got Gastrodon. Uh, got Barbarical. Uh, let's lock them in. And then hide the ones that aren't showing up. No Dusk Noir. No male meowstic, no tentacruel, no arcanine, and no lucario. All right. Let's see, what do I want to lead with here? I think I'm gonna lead. Um. I'm gonna lead mittens. We'll see how that works. I think Paul Stanley will be the ultimate deciding factor in this battle with the Toxic Orb if he goes for Shell Smash and also if I can get late game reflect. Alright. Battle begin. Old Chairman Rose's battle theme. Did he change up? Did he change up his uh Avatar? Or just change up the car? Yeah, he changed it up. That's the Barbarical. Alright. So it's Barbarical versus Luxray to start the battle. Had White Herb on it. This was a good, this was a good start per se. Hmm. Would he switch into that? Would, would would he switch into the Gastrodon? Is the question. Would he switch into the Gastrodon? Or would he sack off the Barbarical as part of his strategy? I'm going to go for the wild charge. We'll see what happens here. All right. Use shell smash. Lower defense. Get the attack. Special attack and the speed boost. And pick up the KO. Luxray kills Barbarical with wild charge. Take some recoil damage.
a lure. Snow warning activates. Which means he's going to set up the the hail, uh, not hail, Aurora Veil. Unless he just goes for Blizzard right off the bat. We'll go for the wild charge again. There's the bail. All right, take a little bit more recoil damage, take some hail. Uh, let's just do quick. Veil. If reflect and light screen are up with the hail. All right, so I'm, it's not really doing much damage to me per se, and I'm not doing much to it either. Also, but let me. Yeah, about four hit KOs, so we use Wild Charge again. Oh, he's got Blizzard. All right, so I'm going to activate my Fiji Berry here. So he's at 50%. Alright, I'm at 83 of 175. Alright. Let's go for play rough here. Withdraw. Okay. Eris the rank master. Tyranitar. But I'm activating its weakness policy. I knew it. I knew it was the policy. Knew I was getting into the policy there. Battle of Stadium, single standard. I'm gonna act as if he's a jolly nature. Plus two attacks, so no matter no matter what attack I do, it's gonna knock it out. We'll use one more play rifle. We'll, I guess we'll sack the Lux. Dragon Dance. Interesting. But the thing is, he is definitely faster than I am. But that's because I don't have I'm on max speed. How many 
more turns of sand do I have? Three more turns of sand, one more turn of veil. He's most likely going to go for like, I would assume, Max Quake now at plus three to get the plus one special defense. I think we'll sack him. Max Knuckle, interesting. Alright, Tyranitar kills Luxray with Max Knuckle, which means he's got superpower on that. I mean, it's showing that I... We'll bring out we'll bring out Duraludon here. Um let me get choice scarf on this. I'm almost positive I'm faster than him. Even with a scarf and the plus one. And it's a base 150 before scarf. Yeah, I'm, I'm maxed out. So I'm definitely faster than it. Because I'm trying to... I'm really trying to bait out that. Let's go for it. Alright, so I... Another Max Knuckle to kill Duraludon. It's at plus 5 attack now. I'm almost positive anything it does to this one, if I were to go that way. Through Protect, plus five. Oh, that's a little 50 mile. No, that it's a definite kill, even through protect. Almost pause my max. Uh, showdown usage fifty. All right, I'm barely faster than it. How much would <sighs> hmm. I kinda want kinda wanna set the rain. How many more turns of veil does he have? Two more turns? I'm going to go for the Reflect. Oh, 
All right. I actually managed to survive that. The sandstorm subsides. All right. Let's go for it. Let's. All right, he's gonna sack the Tyranitar here. Oh my God, it's brick break. Oh, it still had the veil up. Oh no. Okay. Well, bring out Hitmon on top and pull a punch. Kills Tyranitar. And now that threat is out of here. And by threat, I mean massive. Threat. Squint it. Uh, let's see this. Granted, it's going to be a... Uh... If it's bulky like that, I don't have a chance. So let me let me bring in Paul Stanley here. Knock off here. Jake, what are you bringing, buddy? Knocked off the leftovers. Parting shot here. Going to bloom an onion. the vine lash Let's see what happens here Venusaur gets kill on Gastrodon. Alright, it's 3v3.
And there it is. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, his ace, his name is Lusica. Barely with the survive. And that should take him out. It has magic guard. Venusaur goes down to a brilliant magic guard play. That was brilliant. Now I come in. See, can I bait you? Am I baiting him? I don't know about this. All right. 30 a minute till the battle ends. All right, Icicle Spear. I might, I might lose on timer. Uh, I'm gonna do the mock punch anyway. He might just try and stall me out here. I lost by timer, of all things. Ah, eh, well happens we're gonna try and get jake in on a on a call real quick on that but that was hey that was smart of him uh so we're gonna get him in real quick and go from there So let me flip that. All right, we got Jake. We got Jake here, Coach Jake. What's going on, buddy? Yeah. Um, hold on. I th please tell me I, I didn't do this wrong again. Uh, properties. Okay, try it again. Hello. 
All right, there we go. Okay, I just had it messed up there. All right, guys, we're here with with Jake, the coach of the now four and zero Wheeling Alakazams. Dude, that battle was great. I don't even care about how the finish was. Dude, I it you, I, you said in my DMs and in there the timer stall. I didn't know what to do because I thought Vine Lash was still up, you and I knew a mock punch. I knew a mock punch was coming. Um, and by the time I had like figured out what to do, it was nine seconds, and it was it wasn't worth it to do anything. Hey, look, I, frankly, I'm not even like how, how can I, how can I be how can I be mad? That that me? was that was way too close for my for my comfort. <laughs> oh, without without question, like I mean, I, I'm like you said in the in the messages, like you were like uh, I'm just waiting, you know, ready for this battle, ready to go. Uh, you, you know, you're like, you run under the waterfall, you're meditating like Chuck for crying out loud. <laughs> uh, but, but nah, bro, like, uh, I mean, that really was too, like when you, when you saw Barbarical and I got, and I got it with Luxray first off, you know, like then the white. Earth that, was, yeah. That, that match was, or that matchup right off the bat already ruined my entire strength of the, that battle. Yeah. I, I, I was like, uh, cause originally like my plan was I was thinking of, cause Truthfully, I'm gonna be honest. Like you see, uh, hold on. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna. Sh- I'm gonna share the screen so that way you, you can kind of see what um, see what I'm see what I'm doing uh, from from there. Yeah. Uh, so like I I thought for sure I I knew for sure I was gonna see the Tyranitar and I knew I was gonna see the Alakazam. I I, I knew those two because those are like your two ace in the holes in a in the gym challenge. If because I mean, either one one of those two is always your max, almost guaranteed. So I, I knew what I was. However, I didn't I didn't anticipate brick break. Yeah. Um. So I I had studied your videos and from in the gym challenge, I knew you ran uh, ran screens in Teleon. Yeah. Like, so multiple Pokemon had brick break. I'm assuming those multiple being Alakazam, Tyranitar, and Barbarical. Not Alkazam, but you got the other two. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Because I because mean, like there's the only two that can learn it. <laughs> are they the only two? That, well, at least the only two that yeah. you brought. Uh, Correct. But, yeah. Like originally uh, going into like right in that end game uh, where you had gotten the um, the I mean again like I, I know like people you know people in the in the chat they're gonna be like uh, you know they're they're gonna see like we're like you know timer stalling or whatever. It, it frankly that it's not like it was. In all fairness, most of that sixty seconds, I think, was because of how long Icicle Spear took to like get all five. Hit. I, I I knew it was skill. Yeah, I knew, I knew that. It it so a majority of it was Icicle Spear. Um, I expected Cloister to die from Vine Lash. I didn't realize it ended that turn. Um, yeah, like, like when when uh when Alak because I I was like okay he sent out Alakazam I'm I'm, ba- I'm barely gonna survive this but the Alakazam is gonna go down to. Uh, the vine lash, and then it didn't take damage. I'm like, oh my god, it's the ma- it's magic guard. Yep, magic guard. I, for- um, I had forgotten about that. So the the my last sixty seconds, we're trying to figure out because I I'm guessing you clicked mock punch. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I because so I <laughs> my last sixty seconds was trying to figure out if you clicked mock punch or bullet punch, and I was going to swap into. Uh, nine tails potentially, because I feel like it could have lived a mock punch, but I have no idea, and I had no clue what to do there. All of my Pokemon were one shot, and you had a priority boy on the field. So yeah, I mean, um, I mean, the- by by the time I re- uh went or like backed out of my uh like the my, the list of Pokemon, um, I. I just sort of came to the conclusion I was going to click Ice Shard, but by the time I backed out, there was eight seconds, and yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, like again, like fr- frankly, I, frankly, I can't even get mad over over what happened. Like, I mean, I mean, th- there there have been battles before, like you know, you see it on on like on uh, YouTube and all that, where it's like they they will literally like wait until or they like they'll run a whole stalled team, like 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 this one was at the first at first glance, you think. Okay, I got the good matchup. I because I I knew one of your two. Uh, I knew you had your two shell smashers, even though you swapped out Phalanx for 
for Cloister in the in the week prior. Yeah, um, I, I I knew you did that, so I actually ran it with my with my friend. I was you know like I was testing against uh your, now granted he does showdown a lot. Uh, actually, it's um it's toxic the uh, the poison leader in in memos uh, server. Yeah. So I so yeah I was like okay. I don't think he was going to bring the Dust Noir, so let's run a couple sets with Tyranitar being in there. And I got lucky on the Cloister, but I also found out that... uh, Was your Alkazam Life Orb? Yep. It was Life Orb? Yes, sir. Okay, so I don't know about that from the calculations, but I do know that uh, two hits with Triple Axle plus a Bullet Punch was a kill, and I still survived at least one Psychic. Yeah, no, the, the hip on top leading up to this battle was the thing I feared the most. Because you you couch for, like, the triple axle and everything. If you brought Sucker Punch, it's dead in one shot, no matter what. I didn't even know hip on top could learn Sucker Punch, to be fully honest with you. Level 24. Uh, I feared that Sucker Punch for this entire battle. And then you never clicked it. <laughs> yeah, I, I... like. Yeah, no, it, uh... Like, right at, right at it, the end when I, when I threw out uh, hip on top... And like you know, you had Lucica in in the red. I was like, w- would he sack it, or is he go- or is he going to go out to the one thing that I know hasn't entered the battle yet? Uh the the entire thought there was a priority move is coming. It's going to die. Let's go with the boy that has big defense. Yeah, like, I, and I'll be honest, I, I was literally like thinking, do I click bull? Because truthfully, I was thinking you were going to sack off Nine Tails and then bring Cloister in. Um, I didn't want to let you kill it, really, if I'm being honest, because I knew two mock punches would kill it, especially after I shell smash. Uh, um, so uh, I just close. needed to use, yeah, I just sort of needed to use it as a wall, I guess. Well, I mean, it, it doesn't have 180 base defense for nothing, that's for damn sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, uh, I mean, it, 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 I mean, again, it was a, it was a good battle for sure. I mean, I'm, again... How how can you be mad over it? Like I mean, I, I'm sure. I mean, let me let me also ask this though. Of the battles you've had so far, I mean, you had the forfeit against Pizza. You had, um, I think you battled Liam too. Um, I battled Luke and I have battled Bond. Okay, of of those of those three, like where would you rank like our battle? This is the closest of them. Uh, <laughs> this one has definitely scared me the most out of the three. You, know, you you have those battles where you just you feel in control from the beginning. That was my battle with Pizza. Um, I looked at his team and realized he only had a single grass move, so I brought Gastrodon, and then he didn't bring the grass move. Um, my battle with Luke, I, I I just I felt in control. Battle with Bond was surprised he forfeited, but I'll take it. Wait, but um, he forfeited too? Yeah, the the. The 4-0 against Bond, uh, he, he looked at what I had out, and he looked at the rest of his Pokemon and realized that the battle was over. Hmm. I, 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 can, I can respect it when you know you've been beaten. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 can, I can as well. It's just like, like when you do like that cancel thing, that, that, kind of get, that kind of personally gets me just a little bit because it's like, like if, if you're going to lose, like do it with, with honor. Like, I mean, again, I... Oh, I got you. Like I, again, I, I can't get mad over over what happened because if we look at that last sixty seconds, you could tell that the end of that battle, at least forty five seconds of the timer, was that one move because of skill link, because of the way that yeah. You know, so I mean, again, again, can't get can't get mad over something like that. The the thing is though is that um, it's like again, like you see, like th- this was the the team that I was. Anticipating aside from the cloister, because uh, I, I thought I thought for sure I was gonna see your your trio of special Alakazam, physical Arcanine, and weakness policy Titar. I knew that off the top of my head that those three were coming. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So I mean. Yeah. No. So so here was if if you want me to give you my mindset on right. why I chose my team. Go right. Um, so looking through your team, you uh, I knew about the brick break or not brick break. That's the move I used. Uh, the screens in Talion. Um, everything else 
sort of dies to Barbarical, except for Gastronaut. Or not Gastronaut, that's my Pokemon, Venusaur. Um, so the hope, the hope was to Shell Smash turn one and just go at it. And then you sent out Luxray. Yeah. I w- and then I was faster than your Luxray. <laughs> I, th- that, I, well, also my Luxray doesn't have, a, at least that one doesn't have max speed. Like, originally what I was thinking was going to happen was uh, once you had the white herb that, you know, once the Intimidate came out and used uh, white herb and everything, I was like, okay, is he going to use, um, is, is he going to switch out into the Gastron, eat the wild charge, and then go to town on me with earth power? Because, I, I mean, I knew, I knew Gastron was going to have that. I knew that. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I, so I didn't. I didn't expect Barbarical to be faster than the, uh, the Luxray, so I thought maybe okay, I'll go second, Shell Smash, be faster, and then we can we can go from there. And then I was slower; my defenses were weakened, and he just bopped him. Yeah. Uh, in all of my practice battles uh, with AJ, uh, where he, he like made your team and everything, um, I I had zero intentions of using Nine Tails or Tyranitar actually in this battle. Barbarical takes you down to Venusaur. Alakazam cleans up there, and then Cloyster finishes it. The rest of them were all just sort of there, but that clearly did not happen. And I had to go straight to Tyranitar. Yeah. In all, in all fairness, I really thought that what, that what, because again, I knew play rough was going to happen. Um, because I mean, you know, it's the only super effective move I had. I do not have superpower on the Luxray. I brought the other one, the Guts one has superpower naturally because it's you know it's getting the boost from the flame orb and everything um but my my plan was uh you know i use you know the play rough i was thinking wild charge but it was like uh, something's got to give here which one's going to give me a little bit more damage in the long run and then I, i also forgot about weakness policy i completely forgot about the weakness policy um and then I, I was actually surprised that even with the reflect at plus five attack, my Inteleon survived the max knuckle. I was surprised uh, as well. Yeah, because you, you um, think, the you think the brick break is also for the additional uh, attack while maxed. And you would think like the the um uh what was it um uh. I'm I'm gonna draw a blanket, but I'll I'll, I'll actually tell you um because I, I again like you have like the sand stream and everything I changed up one move on on that Intellion on the on the dual screens I changed it up and I gave it Rain Dance just in case you had the sand so I could uh, get rid of the the sand set up Rain and then really go to town. And then the sand ended the second I stopped being dynamaxed. <laughs> And, and yet you still had Veil up, and then I, I was like, okay, he's under 50%. I'm going, I'm going, I'm most likely going to knock him out. Cause it's oh, I still had Veil up then? Yeah, you had, th- you had three turns left of Veil. Okay, so that, that was why that didn't kill them. I was very, very, very confused why I was left at 3 HP after that snipe shot. Oh, it was, th- you had a, th- wow, th- I have a three, three. I, have a, I have a three HP and I have a seven HP. In, in the losses, because that, that's how much I lost to Potato by. He ran, of all things, Assault Vest on Pheasant. Yeah, no, I, I, I watched that battle. I, uh, I studied the video. Uh, I tried to prepare for this. I can honestly say in a million years, I didn't expect the Toxic Orb Lanoon. Yeah, Paul, Paul um, Stanley. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Yeah, because I I actually, um, I actually did the calcs with with that one too. Believe it or not, at level fifty, a top a, even if you had scalded it and you know got the burn, uh, the quick feed ability will actually outspeed a cloister at plus two, assuming full speed. Ah, uh, that's why it was there. Yeah, gotcha. It it, it was because uh, originally I was actually planning on bringing a. Reuniclus, you know, try to go for the store yeah. power, store power setup, and also try to go to town on there. But it was like, um, but no, I was like, let, let me let me think. Like, if, if he does bring the cloister, maybe maybe I could try and surprise him with something that because 
I, I looked up everything and nothing that I could do. Even uh, Scarf Duraladon at plus two wasn't out, wasn't outspeeded yep. for some reason. And so I was like, okay, let, let me let me look at this. Let me look at the calcs real quick and go from there. And then I got lucky with the um, the you know getting the knockoff, getting rid of the leftovers, set up the parting shot, and then you know sent out Venusaur to clean house afterwards. I, as soon as as soon as I sent out Gastrodon, I knew no matter what you chose, Venusaur was coming out next. So you said so you decided to like, it. yeah, no, I at that point, uh, I knew. So originally, Gastrodon was there for the Hitmon top. Um, on the first draft of the team, I was bringing in that it was Lucario instead, and then it real I like for whatever reason it clicked in my head that Mach Punch still fucking. Sorry, I shouldn't say that on your video. Um, still murders uh, Lucario. So I was like, okay, here's Gastrodon. We'll go with him. He'll wall. But I have to send him out once Venusaur is dead. And then, uh, naturally, the entire strat fell apart on turn one. <laughs> so I had to improvise for the rest of that battle. Well, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm glad I was able to get... I was, I'm just glad I was able to keep you on your toes and all that, you know, give you a good battle because, I mean, that, that that's what's important is that, you know, we're given good battles regardless of what happens in the end game. Like, as long as we're neck and neck the whole way, that's all that's all that matters to me. Like, I, I know I gave you, I, I mean, I, I feel good in what I did. I feel good in the preparation and all that. I mean, it's just, you know... The, the timer thing it it, ha it happens like I think that the, I think that's something that uh, people were talking about is that you know getting getting rid of that for like single battles you know ju just in case or something like it, that it would be helpful at least like thirty minutes but yeah, so, yeah. but yeah I mean um, but Jake I, I mean again I I thought that was a great battle I mean who knows might might be seeing each other again in playoffs with the way our division is playing. Our our division is too close, man. You got division B, it's you know three oh, four oh, three oh, two oh. And then you got us where it's like you got you got me at top somehow. I don't know how I'm doing this. And then everyone is neck and neck. And it's just it's terrifying. Hey, it, it, it's a, it's if anything, that's a preview of uh, of the NFL season, NFC, AFC, why there's so much superiority in one conference and then the other conference is, you know, just top heavy. Oh, that's that too close for me. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, um, I mean, hey, uh, so so now, I mean, you know, naturally, you know, we go, like, I go two and two, all this stuff. I mean, uh, I mean, I'll be honest, I was even helping a wreck out with, with his team, you know, give him some practice yep. battles. His team is tough. Like, do not, like, it, I, I know you had a strategy for me. His, he's got, he's got a good team. Like, I, 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 I was I'm not. I'm not too I, worried about Rick. I I feel like I can take care of him. He's uh, got his G Max Charizard. It's it's a threat, but I I do have a giant rock dragon. So yeah, yes, you do. But at the same time, it's got it's got a strategy that you will never see coming. And I and I'll and I'll I'll let you know about that a later time. But uh, like I said, Jake, we had we had a great battle. I mean. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm again. We gave it our all. That's what's important. I left everything out on that field. Unfortunately, it came down to timer and everything. But uh, you know, that's just what happens in these games. Uh, uh, yeah. I, yeah. So I mean, dude, I want, I want to thank you again for you know taking time. You know, join in on on a post. Yeah, no game. problem, man. Uh, Folks, like I said, uh, you can check this battle out on my channel uh, when it goes up live. You can check it out on the Shiva Shack YouTube channel. Give Jake a follow over there. Join uh, the server. And if you want to have battles with guys as strong as Jake and you know guys who aren't strong like Sean, then we can go from there. <laughs> right. Well, you've one. been in the server too long. You're starting to throw jabs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've been waiting for it. I've been waiting for it. <laughs>